Hi guys and welcome to Make It Done For Nothing. Today I'm going to show you how to make these yummy mini cheese and onion tarts. So let's get started. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Press the bell icon to receive new recipes and don't forget to leave a thumbs up. To make the short crust pastry, you will need 100 grams of all-purpose flour, 50 grams of unsalted butter, half teaspoon of salt and enough water to make a firm dough. For the filling you will need 100 ml of single cream, 1 medium egg, half a cup of spring onions, 50 grams of red Leicester cheese, you can buy regular cheddar cheese if you like, but I, I prefer to use the red Leicester, and salt and pepper to taste. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, you will need to put your flour and butter in a food processor and add your salt. I've added half a teaspoon of salt here, but you can reduce the amount to suit your taste. Now we're going to blitz this in the machine until we have a mixture that resembles fine breadcrumbs. Takes about 30 seconds. Okay, so something like this. Now transfer this to a bowl and add your water a teaspoon at a time to make a firm dough. Give it a mix and keep adding a little bit of water each time. You don't want to add all in one go and end up with a soggy mess. Now with your hands, mix together until you get something like this. Knead your ball of dough and shape it into a small round disc. squash it together make it firm and then wrap it in cling film and chill it in the fridge for around one to two hours so it firms up and is easier to roll out with your rolling pin okay while well that's in the fridge we're gonna make the filling so to make the filling just add all the other ingredients into a large jug or bowl and mix it all up the quantities in this recipe will make around six to eight mini tarts depending on how thick you roll out your dough of course, if you want to make more, you can double up or triple up the amounts. These cute little quiches are great for kids' lunchboxes or to have as finger food at a party. Both adults and children will love the taste. After you've added your seasoning, mix well until everything is combined. Okay, so it should look something like this. Now leave that to one side while we roll out our dough. So unwrap the cling film and dust your work surface and your rolling pin with some flour. Okay, then roll out your dough to a thickness of around an eighth of an inch. We're gonna keep turning it so it doesn't stick to our work surface. Okay, so when you've done that, take your um, three inch fluted cutter and cut out your pastry circles. You can use circles, circle cutters also if you don't have a fluted one. Okay, so I was able to make four from this dough. Now roll out, I mean sorry, roll up your leftover dough and use it to make more circles. Okay, so now take your muffin tray and place these carefully into the moulds. So when you've done that, you can simply add your filling into each one. So be careful not to overfill your pastry bases. We just want to add around a tablespoon of filling for each one. You can refrigerate any leftover filling for up to five days and reuse it later. Okay, so now pop these into the oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 360 degrees Fahrenheit for around 20 minutes or until tops are nice golden brown. And here we have our finished tarts. The red Leicester gives a gorgeous vibrant colour as you can see. These come out easily from the tray and just place onto your serving dish. They taste good both warm or cold, night or day. I've been making this recipe for over 10 years and it never fails to impress. So all that's left to do is put on your serving dish and serve with some fresh salad or your favourite dip. These are great for picnics and sharing with friends and family or as a midnight snack. 
You must give these a go and please let me know how you get on in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, see you next time.